Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Tonight, we are going to be checking in this small box expansion for the board game Horizons for Daily Magic Games. A big shout out to Levi Moat, who watched our review of Horizons, noted my complaint that I thought it was a 3x game and not a 4x game, and wanted to correct me that the 4x extermination is in this expansion, and offered to send me a copy of this for review purposes. No other promotion was provided. No other compensation was provided. So tonight, we are going to take a look at what is in the box for Extermination, the expansion pack for Horizons. Before we get there, though, just a quick note that you can find all of our content online at TabletopBellhop.com, where you'll find news, reviews, videos, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a gaming or game night question, anything you want to know, consider us a Dear Abby for Gamers. You can send that to questions at TabletopBellhop.com or... Go over to the website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Enough self-promotion, let's take a look at this small pack. So we're going to start off by reading the back of the box. It says, Extermination Expansion Pack. New stars and alien species have been discovered in the galaxy. Will you exploit the new Viliox to destroy your foes or befriend one of the new species to explore the new stars? Contents, one rule sheet, five Viliox alien ally cards, five alternate starter ally cards, and six alternate star tiles. Note, you must have horizons to be able to use this, which I think is pretty self-evident at this point for a small box like this. So we're going to tip the camera down so you don't have to look at me anymore. And we're going to take a look at what you get in the box of horizons. No, the box I have is a little bit beat up. This was due to shipping. This is, I'm sure, not how the game would come if you ordered it normally. Um... It was not in the best shape when coming out of the shipping package, which I do not blame Daily Magic or Levi for that. I blame the postage carrier. To be honest, we're just going to dump this. There we have a rule pack. And we have some cards and some tiles. Interestingly, you don't have to punch the tiles. It's a nice touch. We'll take a look at the rules first. Small. Oh, I love the text size. Look how big that font is. Look at that. My old eyes love you, Daily Magic Games. All right, we have a two-sided sheet. Seems pretty simple from what I can tell. We're gonna give this a quick look. We have a new ally. Uh, during, you're gonna put the five ally, these allies out with the other ones. There are now alternate starting allies. I know what's cool about that, asymmetry. So everyone would start with a different alien species to start. Instead of all starting with a human. That's a nice touch. I like asymmetry in my games. And then we have some alternate star tiles. So this is actually a separate expansion. So you have two different expansions in here. Alternate star tiles and the new Viliox aliens. Each of those is bagged separately, which is a nice touch. Oh, no, it's nice. These are both resealable, I think. We'll see in a second. Let's do these first. Get to watch me fail at opening a Ziploc bag. All right, here's our alternate star tiles. So they have something on the bottom of them. Art's as good as always on these, but they're planets. What do you expect? So we have stars. Oh, we have a darker star. And they have some kind of special ability on them. So the stars in Horizons are the things that go out at the beginning of the game, and there's one per player. And then you build planets around them. So this looks like every star system would be unique. Interestingly, they are two-sided, but there doesn't seem to be any difference, at least on this one. Yeah, four and four. So they're two-sided, but no particular need to be that I could tell. Yeah, two-sided, no difference on the other side. Fair enough. I guess you don't have to worry about which side to flip over. All right, then we have a new alien species. And we have new starter cards. And yes, this is the kind of package that just will reseal. Nice touch. I don't have to worry about providing a new baggie to hold on to these. So we are going to start off with... What do we got? All right. So here are our new starter aliens. So you would randomly give these to each of the players. They're going to have the same art on both sides. For the game, when you get one of these allies, you can use them twice. So they start on the green side, they go to the red side, then they're discarded. 
So what we have is, as far as I can tell, one of each of the original species in the game that can be your now starting ally, which are going to associate with the different actions in the game. So every player is going to start off with a bonus with each action. That's a nice touch. I didn't even know that was in this. I just thought we were getting one more race that adds a little more PvP and extermination in combat, which will be the rest of these cards. So these are the Viliox. These are the cards that are going to add extermination to Horizons. So this is pay two victory points to destroy someone's colony. That would have been so useful in the game I played that I reviewed negatively because it was over too quickly because one of the characters rushed and built all their colonies in the first seven turns of the game. We have pay this to replace a colony. We have pay this to replace an opponent's energy collector with your own. And we have pay and all players have to discard a mission card. And we have, I don't know what this one means, flip any system you occupy. Like it looks like you might actually blow up a planet. Interesting. I like the idea. I like the concept. Uh, amazing art by Nico. Love Miko's art. As usual, it's always amazing. Miko makes great looking stuff. He's uh, first learned about him through Daily Magic games and the Valeria card games. Big fan of Miko's art. Card quality here is great. Um, I can't tell if it matches the original, but I would hope so. Uh, we'll find out when I do a review of this to see if there's any problem with that. So that's it. This is what you get in the box. Nice small box, nice simple pack. I like the fact there's somewhere to put these cards back right now and pack them up. New systems, simple rules, card box. That's all we got. Looking forward to checking this out. It seems like a significant improvement to the game. It definitely removes one of the things, or it definitely improves on one of the things I thought was an issue with the base game. People were calling it a 4X card game and it only had three X's. This completely addresses that problem. Now I do have the one minor niggling thing. Why wasn't this in the base game? But you know what? This may have been developed afterwards. It might not have, or maybe they just really wanted to sell an expansion separate. That's Daily Magic Games decision, not mine. This does seem like the kind of thing that could have been in the base box. If it wasn't, it wasn't. It does look cool. Um, quality is what I expect. Card box is a little flimsy, but you know what? This is all going in my base box. There's room for these cards. They'll fit in the base box. I'm probably going to throw this out, and I know that scares some people. So that's it for today's Cardboard Coat Check. We have checked out Horizons Extermination. We're going to give it a room in my game room and put it with Horizons by Daily Magic Games. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. If you do see me out there on the web, say hi. Join in a conversation, thumbs up, like, interact. We love interacting with our viewers and listeners. You can head over to tabletopbellhop.com where we get a ton more gaming content. Make sure you hit the like, follow, subscribe before you go. If you really dig this, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. For Tabletop Bell Up, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.